Master Singcho, thank goodness you're fine. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency? The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. Hey, Shinsho. Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being. Understood, Master Singchio. Then I will leave you. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And... Xingqiu, have you ever heard of... Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case... Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is- But... without any sun- Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard- Who? Oh, Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper. But if I am not- Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of Drifting Clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures. Among which, after Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode. That's great! Um, but is it... wouldn't it be a little... you know... <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while... Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with- Okay, we will be. Thanks, Shing- <laughs> Follow the wind. Let's see. Shincho said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art, but now... Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Celia over there? Follow the wind.
Weren't we at a waterfall just now? Oh, so many clouds. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that adept. With any luck, the sunset for Millionite we're looking for. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the... And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem... These are not real clouds. They are the product of an... If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintained. All right, then let's do it! I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are. Take your true form. Unleash! Obey! Into the wind! Wind and cloud! It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Ha! Ruh! Chip! Duh! Oh, 
Obey! Into the wind. Goba, get them! Clouds high. The birds fall. Shine down. Inazuma shines eternal. Let's light it up. Teamwork is dream work. Manifest! Unleash! The wind knows it. Manifest! Illusion shattered!
Vermillionite? Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the... Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature. Breaking free from the shackles... Wow, Shenha. You see... Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has... I don't care for her stories most of the time. I... Hold on a sec! I'm on just... If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it... But if we don't activate it, how else are we going to lift it? Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a Plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure my safety. That's right! Paimon's sure you can handle it and everything. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy odds. Hmm. Is it now? I'll go on ahead with the Plostrite. Let's meet at the... How is Shenha able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Did that super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's... Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blood. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immac... I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite... My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. <laughs> Ah, so you're the ones behind this. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not help. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have re If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the J. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as a comic. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over- Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can- I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus. Treat me with great deference and respect. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. 
At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and... But uh, I am not... Uh... Shanna? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since... Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find my... You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down and... Okay. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just a Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Champ, a constant stream of people in this area. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're like Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. Here are your keys. All right. Hope. Shenha, you should go get some rest. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. <sighs> All right. I will. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm hmm. See you tomorrow. One trusts you have met Shen He. So. So far, so good. Yeah. Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. Cool. So, what's her? Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking. Her adeptus name. Why pray tell? Uh. Don't all adept. On this latter point, you are correct. Oh, oh, right. What? I'm a neither. This is a Do you mean to say that she presents to Well, to start with, her prob- Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a- Inside was Shanha. Then aged around six years old. In that sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her str one dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her. In other words. If you hadn't passed by that day? Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. That's still so dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little- Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constant. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent and red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. 
They also seem to have run... It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that... Oh, now Paimon gets it. Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the... If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a... Let us conclude our conversation here for today. Master has relayed my situation to you. I take. Oh? How did you. I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So, on top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me. That, after all, Master is. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an. It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my. Still. Though you mistook me for an Adeptus, for this, I am very- To be fair, we've met our fair share- Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend, whether you're- Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails- Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start- But before we do that, let's go to the building site and- After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors- Oh, and another thing, we bought some grilled chicken.